Sofia Zoo is the oldest and largest zoo on the Balkan Peninsula. It was established in 1888 by King Ferdinand and it quickly gained popularity as a place for recreation. The zoo is currently a home to about 2,000 animals. Hey guys, welcome back into my channel. I'm about to enter the Sofia Zoo and I'm very curious to see what it's like because the last time I've been here was when I was a kid. I just purchased my ticket and I'm entering the zoo. Unfortunately, most of the animals were hiding from the heat. My little body. Beautiful. You're beautiful. Sweet. This adorable pony really enjoyed my compliments. I hope that from here you will be able to spot these gorgeous salmon pink birds. And here we have the Egyptian vulture. The lemurs were the highlight of my visit to the zoo. They looked so energetic and playful. When you get to the Sofia Zoo, it's a bit complicated because it's not very close to the city center, but you can take uh, the metro and get off at the metro station Vitusham and walk maybe about 20-25 minutes. Uh, or you can get bus 65, which in my case was the most convenient way to get here. Other buses that go to the Sofia Zoo are bus 120, 64, 83, 88 and 98. Some of the plants and trees in the zoo are imported from other countries. For example, this tree is imported from Spain. And this is the Japanese garden in Sofia Zoo. It was created in 2008 by the Japanese landscape architect Soemako Toro. He planted this garden by using his own resources. So, what kind of animals you can expect to see in the zoo? I kept circling around to find an elephant, but apparently the elephant has died a few months ago. So, there is no elephant, no giraffe. I saw a few zebras, a tiger, wolf, rhinoceros, bear, deer, birds, fish and snakes. As I mentioned earlier, some of the animals were hiding indoors because the day was too hot. This is one of the white tigers. There are actually two and they were imported from Hungary. Oh, 
was wondering what that noise is. This poor wolf didn't have much space to run around. Unfortunately, some of the animals seemed like they don't have enough space. Hey guys, I'm almost done with the tour in the zoo. I am a little bit disappointed, although I was prepared um, that the zoo is not in a very good condition. It desperately needs renovation, it needs maintenance, but also the ticket is only two euros. They should seriously think to increase the price of the ticket to make sure that the animals are happy and at the same time that the park is very pleasant to walk around. Anyway, I hope you have enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next adventure.